Hello, welcome today. We are here with award-winning permanent makeup artist, Kimberly Armstrong. So welcome today, Kimberly. Thank you so much for having me. And her beautiful rescue dog, Ziggy. <laughs> Ziggy's here to greet people that come to her establishment and I'm sure he puts a smile on everyone's face. Well, tell us a little bit about you and your business, Kimberly. All right, well, I've been doing permanent makeup for about 17 years now, and I started in 2004, and my business kind of started just doing brows, eyeliner, and lips, and has evolved into a whole bunch of different exciting things. Wow, so for people that don't know what permanent makeup is, you kind of touched on it, but can you tell us the applications, like all the places we can put it on the body? Yeah, that's a great question. So permanent makeup is um, a tattoo. So it is a needle that goes underneath the skin and is implanted so that it stays. So that's kind of the beauty of permanent makeup is that mm -hmm. it's makeup that's gonna last because it's underneath the skin. Um, so it fades at different rates of time for different people, but typically lasts about one to three years. Wow, okay, and then where do you put it on? You mentioned brows, yeah, so eyeliner. Yeah, it's, um, for, for my work, I've evolved into so many different categories. Um, brows is one of my leading categories and items that I do, but I've been doing a ton of microblading corrections lately. There's a lot of really bad microblading out there, so I fix the microblading. And then, of course, eyeliner. And I work on men and women. I just did mm. um, another man recently who loved his very delicate lash line that I did on him, which oh. makes the lashes look thicker. Yeah. And I also do lips, so I can reconstruct the lips if they're kind of not symmetrical. And then as we age, the color fades out and it gets kind of whitish. So I add color in the lips. Okay. I also do areola reconstruction. Mm -hmm. So I work on a lot of breast cancer survivors and um, a lot of plastic surgeons refer to me for reconstruction after mastectomy. But I also work on women who just just want more color, or maybe they have the white scar around the areola from breast augmentation. Wow. So I can camouflage that out. And then I also do microneedling, which is a topical application on the face, neck, and chest to reduce wrinkles and brown spots. And um, I've also been working on other parts of the body uh, to help with um, sc like scar tissue. And the microneedling can also be done on stretch marks. It's very effective on stretch marks and acne, and it's just fantastic. It re-stimulates collagen production. Wow. Um, That's yeah. fascinating. I didn't know there was any solution for that. that. Cool. And then um, I do a lot of scars. So I have clients who've had thyroid cancer. They cut right here, it leaves a big scar. Um, if you check out my Instagram, kimberly.armstrong.pmu, there is a Mohs surgery I just camouflaged. So they cut a round circle on her nose and it left a white scarring because they replaced that tissue from another part of the body. And so I camouflaged it back. Wow. Um, a lot of what I do is is really heartbreaking to my clients. So it's very emotional procedures I do, especially with the breast cancer survivors. But a lot of times they're ending in tears of joy. Um, and then beauty marks and freckling. So a lot of people come in and get just like a little beauty mark here, here, or up here. And then um, I've had requests for freckling lately. So oh I have clients <laughs> who come in and they want to be freckled because it's just so cute to freckle across the cheeks and the nose. And then um, the last category of fun stuff I do is makeup lessons. Oh. So I've, I've been doing makeup since I was 17 years old. And um, I was trained with Lancome and Clinique. I traveled with them for years and now I offer a waterproof makeup line and I teach people how to do their makeup in individual classes and groups. So do you teach the public how to do their makeup mm -hmm. or do you only teach other permanent makeup artists? Who, who do you do it for? That's a great question. So with the makeup application I teach the public okay. although if a makeup artist wanted to learn from me they could uh -huh. um, but with the permanent makeup I do advanced training for other technicians. So you teach everyone. Yes. You just share your wisdom and knowledge <laughs> and training and make everybody better at doing what they do then. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. That is so great. I love training. So what is like the most um, passionate part of your business for you or most rewarding and fulfilling? So 
Everything I do is, I, I'm absolutely in love with all of it. There is not a day where I've woken up and not wanted to go to work. Okay. Um, I love coming in and seeing my clients. They get so excited when we do a brow or an eyeliner, but the most fulfilling and rewarding is when somebody tells me they've changed, I've changed their lives Aww. because you know they've, they've gone through a really traumatic experience. I have worked on some of the craziest stuff in 17 years of doing this this, like a, a rollover car accident survivor whose face was wiped across asphalt. I had to reconstruct her, her lips, her eyes, her brows. Um, I do get a little emotional talking about it sometimes. Well, yeah, and I can see that you have such a big heart and you want people to feel better about themselves. Yeah. And it is, it is so, I can't imagine because I thankfully haven't been through that, but that is like so horrific to go through that and then to be scarred for life, you yeah. know, that ex that expression. And you can change that and give them their confidence back so they feel a little more like themselves or more normal and more beautiful. So Thank that's you. so great that you offer that to the world. So. so I think I do this every time I'm interviewed and I talk about this stuff and then I get mad because I've got the tears. So I think <laughs> another one that was really touching to me was a gal who had opened up a radiator cap and it exploded on her face. Oh my goodness. So that was a very, very rewarding, fulfilling enhancement for her on her brows, eyeliner and lips. And I had to do a little scar camouflaging, but yeah, my work every day unfolds something different and amazing. And almost every session ends in tears of joy. Oh, wow. What an amazing <laughs> job. Like where well, you must get excited. Some people in their lives have to like, the drudgery of going to work and you just get excited like oh who are you going to make a difference for every time you go to work every so day. wonderful thank you wow Holly. well that is really neat so changing the subject a little tell us about um the studio that we're in the beauty hideaway tell us about the other services offered here thank you yeah so beauty hideaway i opened six years ago and i created this space to help other artists. Mm. So it's really difficult to start in the beauty industry because spas take a really big chunk of your income. Mm. And there's really no other option between renting like a small room, um, you know, in a sola environment, which is extremely exorbitant weekly rates. So right. I do have rooms here available to other technicians and beauty um, practitioners rentals by the week, the month, and the day. We have quite a few rooms here. Um, right now, we currently have a couple massage therapists, mm. and they are fantastic. One mm. of them is also working at Brooke Williams, and the other one also works at Massage Envy, so they come in here to see privates. Okay. Um, we have a lash extension artist. Mm. We've got a medical doctor who does IV drip therapy, and she does all kinds of fillers all over the body, and she okay. also does medical weight loss. So she writes prescriptions for people who want to get serious about losing weight. Okay. And then we have three permanent makeup artists here. So I work here in addition to two others. And I think right now that's all of us. And I saw something about teeth whitening in the hallway. You offered teeth whitening Thank too. Thank you. Yeah, we also do teeth whitening. <laughs> We're going to be getting an ozone machine really soon. Oh. And we have LED therapy. Wow. Yeah, so red light therapy. People just can transform so many things about themselves from the inside out. That is so great. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing um, all about what you offer here and your story. It's so touching thank and you. we appreciate that. So if you want to check Kimberly out, what's your website one more time? It's KimberlyArmstrong.com. KimberlyArmstrong.com. Check it out. Whether you want to enhance your beauty you already have or if you know someone that has suffered something that has disfigured them, um, she can make them look better and improve their confidence and happiness. So thanks so much for being with us today and we'll catch you next time on SouthCountyToday.com. Thanks for watching.